Hi, this is Bentley from H&H Color Lab with another quick video tip. Today's tip is going to show you how to create a custom shape in Photoshop. We're going to use this custom shape later on to place on images uh, as our logo and we'll eventually automate uh, placing this custom shape. To start off with, uh, I have my the H&H logo open here on the screen and to I want to show you that I've already separated that from the background so I have a layer that's just the H&H &H logo. In this case I've already made the logo just black so it's very easy to work with. When you come in to make a create to create a custom shape you'll come under edit and you'll see define custom shape as one of the options. But oftentimes that is not active, it's grayed out. We need to prepare this logo to be a custom shape by converting it into a path. To make a path from this, it's pretty simple to do. I'm just going to uh, hold down the command or control key and click on the layer icon of the graphic I want to do. When I do that, it will create a selection or the marching ants are going around the H&H &H logo now. The next thing to do is just come down to my paths palette and in the bottom of the paths palette, uh, there is the fourth icon over that says make a work path from the selection. So I'll just select that and now I have a work path that goes around the H&H &H logo. It's often difficult to see if I turn that logo layer off now I can see the work path that we've created. So I can verify that that's nice and clean and ready to go. Once that work path has been created I now can come under edit and define custom shape is now available. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to give this uh, custom shape a name. So I'm going to call this H&H &H logo, and just press OK. Now that our custom shape has been defined, we want to see how to access that. And we can access this on our tools palette by coming down here under uh, the custom shape tool, which is a shortcut U. And if you click and hold on that, you see there are many different uh, tools under this button and yours may be under the default rectangle tool. Once we're on the custom shape tool, we can see the shape is loaded over here and we probably want to save this shape to be able to move it to another computer or just to have a good backup of that. So under my shape options, I'm going to go to this little disclosure triangle and I'm going to choose work to work with my preset manager. On the presets, I can see the custom shapes that have been loaded, and I'm going to select the H&H &H logo, and I'm just going to save that out as a set. Make sure that it's highlighted before you do this, and I'll just name this H&H &H logo. And save that. In this case, I'm just going to save that on my desktop, and then I'm done. Now to use the custom shape, let's just create a new document and I'll just go with the default size here. And there are three tools that you can work with on your custom shape. Uh, there is a create shape layer, create path, and then just create it on a working layer. So if we choose the first option, we bring that in. It's going to grab from my foreground color, which is a Kelly green, and just places that logo in there as a custom shape. It puts it on its own layer and I can change the color of that very easily by just clicking on the uh, color swatch palette over there and choosing a new color and updating that. The second custom shape option, if we choose that option and bring that in as well, in this case all it does is create a new work path. It doesn't create any graphics. From that work path we can load that into a selection and do all sorts of things with that as well. And then our third option, if we choose that, and I'm going to select my background layer, we're going to see it places that custom shape directly on the background layer so we can't change it or move it around or anything like that. So those are three ways that you can place your custom shape. More often than not, I work with the very first option because it gives me the most flexibility. Well, there you have it. A uh, very quick and easy way to create a custom shape, save that as a preset and then apply it to your images.